but you're not cause the drinks bring back G'day guys, my name's Dave and welcome to another Guitar Zero to Hero song tutorial. And in this lesson, I'm gonna teach you how to play Memories by Maroon 5. Now in this video, I'm gonna teach you two different ways of playing this song. The first way requires no capo, but it is a little bit more difficult because it's all bar chords. And the second way I'm gonna teach you requires a capo, but it's a whole lot easier to play. If you wanna master your chords back to front, then be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Or if you wanna improve on your guitar, then sign up to Guitar Zero to Hero Premium, which is my complete step-by-step -step guitar course. All right, let's start with the no capo version. Now, if you wanna to skip to the easier capo version, then just follow the timestamp up here. We're going to be finger picking this riff, and we're gonna start with the B bar chord like this. So your next finger on the second fret of the fifth string, and the rest of your fingers on the fourth frets of the fourth, third, and second strings. You're gonna pluck the fifth string, fourth string, and then with your index and middle finger together, pluck the third and second strings. So your thumb does the first two plucks and then the index and middle. Now after that, we're gonna to go to an F sharp major bar chord like this. So it's the same as an F, but just up one fret. You're going to hit the sixth string of this chord shape like that. And then we're gonna hold that note out and on the four beat, we're then going to pluck the third and second strings together like that. Now in terms of transitioning between this chord and this chord, you only really need to get this index finger on the second fret of the sixth string first. And then because this note is held out for quite some time, you can then get your other fingers into position until you need to pluck the third and second strings. So the first bar, one and two and three and four and... Then we're going to go to a G sharp minor shape. So slide this bar chord shape up two frets and then we're going to lift our middle finger. We're going to pluck the sixth, fifth, and then with our index middle finger, the fourth and third strings together. And then you're going to quickly take your index finger up to the sixth fret of the fifth string and then get into position for a D sharp minor bar chord. Again, because the first note is held out for a little bit, it gives you a little bit of time to get your other fingers into position for the pluck on the four beat, which is the third and second strings. So the second bar in total, one and two and for the third bar, we'll go to an E major chord shape. We'll pluck the sixth, fifth, and then the third and second strings together. And then we'll quickly go back to our B bar chord shape. And again, we'll start with the bass note, which is the fifth string. Hold that out. And then on the four beat, pluck the third and second strings. So one and two and three and four and... For the final bar, we do that E again. And then we go to an F sharp and we hit the bass note, hold that out, and on the four beat, pluck the third and second strings. So one and two and three and four and... And that's it for the main riff, which sounds like this in total. One and you literally just loop that over and over again for the whole song. So that's it for the no capo version. All right, let's get to the easier version that has less bar chords. Now you're gonna need the capo on the fourth fret of your guitar. As well as the finger picking, I'll teach you a nice and easy strumming pattern that you can use with these chords as well. Let's start with a picked riff, and we're going to start with the G chord, except you only need your middle and index finger down on the third and second frets of the sixth and fifth string. You're gonna pluck the sixth string, fourth, and then with your index and middle finger, the third and second strings together. So those plucks all together. And then we're going to quickly go to a D chord shape. You're going to hit the open fourth string, hold that out for quite some time. And then on the four beat, pluck the third and second strings together. So the bar in total, one and two and three. Then we're gonna to go to an E minor shape like this. You're gonna pluck the sixth, fourth string, and then the third and second strings together. So those three plucks, one and two. And then we're gonna to go to a B minor chord shape. So from this E minor shape, 
Keep your index finger where it is and just pivot around and play that B minor chord shape. You're going to start with the fifth string, hold that out, and the four beat, pluck the third and second strings together with your index and middle finger. So the second bar, one and two and three and four and. Then you'll go to a C chord, pluck the fifth, fourth, and then third and second strings together. So those three plucks, one and two. Then we'll quickly go to a lazy G chord shape. So ring finger just comes onto the third fret of the sixth string. Pluck that. And on the four beat, pluck the third and second strings together. So one and two and three and four and. The final bar is the C again. One and two. And then we go to a D chord. So hit the open fourth string. And then on the four beat, pluck the third and second strings together. So that's it for the easier finger picked riff which sounds like this all together. You can literally repeat that throughout the whole song if you wanted to, but now I'm gonna teach you a nice and easy strumming pattern that you can use with those same chords as well. So two lines of chords here. The first line is G, D, E minor, B minor. Second line of chords is C, G, C, D. Now the strumming pattern we're gonna use goes like this. Down, 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 up. Now there's two chords always contained within one strumming pattern and the point at which we'll change chords is in the highlighted strum in the annotation. So the easy strum version sounds like this. And you could just repeat that throughout the whole song too if you wanted to. So now I'll be doing two playthroughs of the song. The first way is without a capo. The second way is the easy version. For the first half, I'll use picking. For the second half, I'll introduce the strumming. A big thanks to my friend Eric for lending his awesome vocals. If you want to check out his YouTube channel, there's a link in the description below. Feel free to play this back as many times as you'd like to, to practice playing along to, and see how you go. There's a time that I remember when I did not know no pain, when I believed in forever, everything would stay the same. Now my heart feel like December when somebody say your name, Is I can't reach out and call you, but I know I will one day. Hey, everybody hurts sometimes, everybody hurts someday. Summer, when 
When somebody say your name Is it can we try to call you But I know I will one day hey. Everybody hurts sometimes Everybody hurts someday hey, hey. Everything will be alright Don't raise a glass and say hey. Here's to the ones that we got Cheers to the wish you were here But you're not Cause the drinks bring back Hope you've enjoyed this lesson. Be sure to head over to guitarzerohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Or if you want to improve on your guitar, then sign up to Guitar Zero to Hero Premium, which is my complete step by step guitar course. It means the world if you could hit that like button, hit subscribe, and click the little notification bell as well so that you don't miss out on my updates. Please leave your thoughts, comments, questions, or requests down below, and I'll see you guys next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers. <laughs>